Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Minecraft Magic series, where I teach you all about the things that are magical in Minecraft, potions and enchanting. In today's episode, we're going to talk about ways that will stop you catching on fire, ways that will stop you hurting yourself if you lob yourself off of a high height, and also ways that will stop you from sinking. Let's crack on. The first thing we're going to look at is how to stop yourself from catching on fire. Now, last week, we increased your resistance to fire. This is going to give you immunity to fire. And we need to come and bash some of these things. Now, when you hit these, they're a little bit like slimes. When you hit them, they take damage and they, on occasion, drop stuff. But they're a little harder to kill than slimes. And hopefully, they won't kill me before I demonstrate what I need to demonstrate. Right, we've got what I wanted, but I'll carry on killing these. They're swarming me. They're swarming me. Got them all. Right, so not only did we get quite a lot of XP, killing those gave me two of these items, magma cream, and we need these for our first potion. So we are back in the real world and we're coming to our brewing stand. We're going to pop the magma cream in the top like that with three aqua potions. Remember, always do it with three. Otherwise, you end up wasting. You can make three for exactly the same amount. And that is going to bring us down, changing this aqua potion into something very burny. Let's wait for that to finish. And there you can see we've got a pinky glowy potion and this is a potion of fire resistance. Now the fire resistance effect is really useful. You are completely immune to fire so you can't be damaged by fire if you're on fire or any other fires, by lava, by magma block, by campfires if you walk over them if you're daft enough or by the fireballs from a blaze. It's a really useful enchantment but we can make it even slightly better by adding some redstone. And as you know, redstone will increase the duration. These currently have got three minutes of fire resistance. So for one little bit of redstone, you can create three fire resistances that move from three minutes effect to eight minutes effect. Now, you can't use glowstone on these because, well, how do you make complete immunity any better than it already is? That would be my question. So let's test these fellas out. So we have come down below the fortress, our nether portal is up there, and there is this lovely lava lake just here. And what I thought would be fun is go for a bit of a wander in the lava. So first off, I'm going to drink this potion of fire resistance. So I've now got the fire resistant up in the corner. I'm going to take off my fire protection armor completely. So look, it's just me holding an empty bottle. And now what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do, is we're going to walk over this magma block without crouching. No damage whatsoever from the magma block. So that's impressive in itself, but what's more impressive is if you start to wander into the lava. Let's just go in. Oh, I do fancy a bit of a swim. Yep, that's me in the lava. That's me swimming through the lava. And you can see the underside of the lava, I'm just sinking down further into the lava. You can't actually see very much, frankly, but even so, when you come up to the surface, it's like you just had a hot bath. It is a little bit unnerving, however, when you're just stood there on fire. Now, the next potion requires a little bit of action with these guys, which is never fun, especially when there's multiples of them. But if you can get a few shots in, you normally aren't too bad. And I've got some decent armor on, remember, so they're not going to get me too much. But we're looking for something that these guys are going to drop right into our laps. And one of them already has. We'll grab another one. Let's just finish them off. Right, that's all of them. But I don't like wandering around in the night time. So how many did we get? We got three. That's not too bad. So, as normal, we're going to nick ourselves three aqua potions and we're going to go into our brewing stand and put them in and grab one of our phantom membranes. Now, these phantom membranes off of these phantoms are very useful things. You can use them to fix your elytra once you've got elytra from the end. And we'll talk about using these with elytra in a moment. But, oh my goodness, these things are brilliant if you're about to fall from a very high height. And this includes when you're fighting the ender dragon and you fall off of the obsidian towers. Because what you get is a slow falling potion. Now this slow falling potion will 
literally make you float to the ground and also stop you taking any damage when you impact the ground, irrelevant of how high you fall from it. And that is a one minute and 30 potion. However, add a little bit of redstone in, you know, just lob in a little bit of redstone and that will speed up and that will cause this one minute 30 potion to become a four minute potion. Now, four minutes of slow falling is actually loads. Let's have a play with it. So I have built a high diving board of Olympic proportions here, and we're going up to do something that ordinarily is a little bit daft, which is dive off of the Olympic sized diving board, but not into any water. Under normal circumstances, your Minecraft life would end right here. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink one of these slow falling potions first. I'm gonna take off any armor, so as you can see, I've got no protection whatsoever. We've got three minutes of slow, uh, four minutes of slow falling, feathers up on the right hand side, and I'm just basically gonna lob myself off. I don't wanna hit the water because that would ruin the, the exact the thing. So let's come up, hey! And you can see, I'm literally just floating down like a feather, bump, and there we are. That is easy. Now what's really good is when you've got elytra. Now I have put some elytra on. Elytra are magical, but we're not covering them in this series. You get them from the boats in the end city. So you've got to kill the dragon first. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna fly with elytra. Now you can normally fly with elytra and take off using a firework rocket. So I'm just gonna get myself floating off. And now we can just fly and float. And you can see you come up and you dash down. Now, if you combine this with a slow falling potion, you literally all but float in the air permanently. It's brilliant. So if I do this with a firework rocket, I'm not really dropping. I'm not really losing any altitude. I'm just literally floating around. So this is a really good way to survey your surroundings as you are walking around your world. If you've got an elytra and you're trying to find something interesting, you can use this little potion and you can literally just have a little look around see what's there without speeding past as a result of your rocket and not falling out of the sky as a result of, well, you know, gravity. The first of the two enchantments that we're going to talk about today will also help stop damage when you fall from a high height, although maybe not that high a height. And that can be achieved by putting diamond boots into an enchantment table and crossing your fingers because this enchantment has an enchantment weight of five, which makes it a relatively rare enchantment. However, we have got it here. Only at level one though, there are four levels to this enchantment. We haven't got higher levels there. So I'm gonna take those boots back because we can achieve level four feather falling. And I'm gonna get a book out of my AFK fishing farm, level four feather falling. For each level of feather falling you get, you reduce the damage from falling by half a heart. So level four is two hearts. So if I come in to my anvil, I put my diamond boots in there and I put my enchanted book in there. That is a feather falling four set of enchanted boots. I'm just gonna put those on and now I can jump and lose up to two hearts, less than I could if I jump without them. Let's put that to the test. So I've built another high board, not as high as the high board, because that would kill me stone dead. I've built another high board right there, and that is 12 blocks high. So we're gonna take a dive from 12 blocks up. Now I'm gonna do it first without any armor whatsoever. So you can see I've got no armor on it, and I've got full hearts you can see there. I'm gonna jump myself off. Ouch, that took away four hearts worth of damage. Now, if I give myself a health potion and bring myself back up to full health. We're gonna try that again with the boots on. So if I just drink this fella. Perfect, put the bottle back, recycle that later. If we then come up to the platform, again, same 12 blocks. We lost four hearts last time. I am gonna put these boots on my feet and we're gonna wait for that regeneration effect to pass and then we're gonna jump off. And it's just passing now. We can now jump off with impunity. I've got my boots on. Let's get myself off here and see what happens. I took two hearts of damage rather than four. 
The second enchantment that we're going to put on boots doesn't protect you from falling, but it does protect you from walking over magma blocks and also walking over campfires. So it still falls under the protection banner, but you can't achieve it from this enchantment table. It doesn't come. It's got an enchantment weight of one, which makes it very rare and specifically so rare you can't enchant it. You have to go and trade for it or fish for it or get it from a raid drop or some other method. So I've got a book in here. It is Frostwalker. Now, People have varying feelings about Frostwalker. Mostly that it's rubbish and it's almost a curse as opposed to a blessing. But Frostwalker can do a number of great things. Come to your anvil, pop diamond boots in there, Frostwalker in there, and take out Frostwalker. These are Frostwalker 2 boots. Now there are only two levels of Frostwalker, level 1 and level 2. And what Frostwalker will do is it will allow you to walk across water that has air above it and that water will freeze into frosted ice. Now it's important to make the difference between ice and frosted ice. Ice, when you mine it out with a silk touch pick, you get a block of ice. Frosted ice, it drops nothing. And if you break it with anything else, it turns into a water block like ice does. So it's not like you can walk across water and mine it out to make an ice farm. So we are at the water's edge now and I'm gonna put on my Frostwalker boots, my Frostwalker 2 boots. Now, as you can see, this water is water. What happens when you walk across water? The Frostwalker boots will turn any water block, source water block, that has got air above it from a radius of two plus the level of your boots, so Frostwalker 2 is four, into frosted ice. So I'm just gonna to start to walk forward and you can see it already starts to move forwards. Now, if you stand still, you can see it's starting to crack up and break. That's because the light level is above that which you would have ice melt. So you have to continually keep moving across. So you can see here, as long as I keep moving, I can continually move across this ice and behind me, it's all melting and starting to crack. You can see that. So what you could do, as long as you're continuously moving, you can walk across an ocean using Frostwalker. It's only the very top level that's frozen. The rest of it is not. Now, if I was to stop walking, say for example like this, and look down at my feet, you can see the ice starts to crack. Is there really anything more frightening than that? And once it's cracked, through you go into the water and you'll notice it doesn't freeze this water because this water has not got a block above it and when you swim it doesn't work and if you try and jump out it doesn't work you've got to get yourself back to the edge so as you can start on a block that is kind of above that level and it starts to freeze again and you can continue to walk like that for as long as you like now, whilst you can very often mix enchantments on armor, you cannot mix this enchantment, Frostwalker, with Depth Strider, which makes sense. How can you walk on the bottom of the ocean if the ocean's frozen? It doesn't make sense to do that. But what you can do is walk across these really hot things. First off, I'll demonstrate it with no bootage on whatsoever. I'm going to walk across the magma. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That hurt my feet. I'm now going to walk across the campfires. Yep, again, I'm taking damage. But... If I put the Frostwalker boots on, they're a little bit more frosty. That didn't hurt. And that was a piece of hot cake. So there you go. That is a number of ways in which you can protect yourself from falling and from hot stuff and also make water freeze, which is honestly, in my opinion, a little bit pants. But the walking over hot stuff is actually why this enchantment Frostwalker is worth having. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making it. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.